MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. A slightly different story today. I'm at PJ Engineering in Exeter. I've come to meet with Pete, who's the owner of the company. They're a low batch prototype manufacturer, and Pete's going to tell us what he likes about the XYZ machines. Good morning, Pete. Good morning. Yeah, so let's get straight into it. What do you like about the XYZ machines that you've got here, Pete? Um, well, when I first started off was um, year 2000, um, I was totally manual machines. Uh, the natural progression for me then was to go on to, to CNC and XYZ um, were the machines that suited my, my needs, really. And you've got four machines here, is that correct? Yes, that's right, yeah. So when, what type of work do you actually do? I know we've mentioned it's prototype and low batch volume. This is an example of a part here. When we talk about the XYZ machine, we, obviously the, the control is a big factor. Just tell us about what you like about that and how that enables you to be competitive when you're costing jobs. Well, for this job I've got on at the moment, for instance, um, on my manual machines, I wouldn't have even taken the job on. Um, I wouldn't have been competitive anyway. So um, running it on this machine has worked out good. I can um, do slots, various movements and engrave all in the same hit, really. I'm going to put you on the spot a bit here. Can you, can you just show us how easy it actually is? Sure, yeah. At the moment, I want to do a pocket, pocket slot, as you said. So it's a rectangular pocket. I'm starting at zero, zero, going to 140 and 14 mil. So that gives me my dimensions. I'm going to rapid one mil above the job and the depth of the slot needs to be 50, uh, sorry, 20.5, um, seven mil Conrad. I'm going to do sort of, um, I'll do seven passes and an entry mode is a ramp in, finish cut 0.1, RPM 2000 and I'll finish it at a slightly higher speed. Z rate, I'll go in at 100 mil, and then I'll speed up a bit to a one, and that gives me my slot. And then that's your slot. You're slot. programmed and ready to go? All ready to go. Okay, very, very easy to use. And that applies to not just slots, but to other, uh, other machining processes as well? Absolutely, yeah, um, for variations of... Um, of variations of size slots, um, round, round slots, squares, rectangular, whichever way you want to go. Okay, and, and this part here is something that you're, you do regularly or is this, is this a, a one-off job? Uh, no, this is a, a repeat job that I've, I've done probably another um, four batches of these. Okay, so it's, but it's not just milling, is it? We mentioned the four machines, it's also turning. So it'd be interesting if you could just show us some of the, some, what you're doing on the lathes as well. Sure, that's fine. So on, on the lathe here then, uh, what are you going to program here? Um, well, I've just done a psycho to um, do a part and now I need to program the thread on it. Interesting. Okay, well, let's see you go through the process of programming the thread. Right, okay. Well, basically I go into the thread. I know I'm 25 mil diameter. I'm going to start just, just short of the job, finish at 25. It's a parallel thread. Z end is minus 25 mil and the pitch is 1.25. Uh, depth of cut, I'll just take 0.1 of a mil cut and I'll give it one spring pass. Plunge angle is all set for you. It's on the outside, so it's set two. Number of starts is one. I'll start it at 500 RPM and tool two is my tool. What, on one point, you've, there's a, that's a thread, but what if the thread, because I've noticed here, that, that's not a normal thread. So would, would you be able to program that? Well, that's a custom part, so um, on there, yeah, I can machine a custom thread on that. So you can do custom threads, not just, and there's a, there's a, there's a cycle in there or an event to do that? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Okay. So what's next? Well, next, I can look at the job, what it's going to look like. There it shows it all on there, how I want it to be. And now I can go in to, to run the job. Um, good thing with this, I can run it on a um, tracking device, so I can actually watch the tool come into the job. On tracking, so what, what's that like a dry run just to make sure? It's like a dry run, you can bring it into the front of the job so you know it's feeding into the right place and then you can um, let, it, let it go through or you can wind it through its programme. Okay, so you're taking out any risk of there being a collision or any accidents from a mishap in your programming? Yeah, that's what, why it's there I guess. Okay, alright, so we've done that, now let's see, see you right. do the tracking. Okay. and wind through the tracking. So, 
that starts me on the on the job. So you're just using one hand wheel there, and that, regardless of where, where the machine's moving, that is going through the whole process or the whole program? I could wind it through the whole progress. I've got to turn the part. Um, I could turn it, I could wind it right through the whole pro process, but once you've done one cut with it, you know it's uh, in the right place, and then I can set it on auto. Do you ever use your manual lathes anymore? Is there a need for you to do that? I mean, what about, let's, we've talked about low batch uh, and prototype, and what about repair work? If you were to do some repair work, would you use this machine and the SLX control for that? Um, in the past, I used to use my manual uh, lathe for repair work, especially on threads, picking up a thread. And uh, now this has got a repair, a thread repair option on it, and I use that. I've used it probably three or four times, and it uh, works really well. So summarise for me how simple all of this is. We've, we've spoken about the SMX control, obviously the SLX. How much difference does it make to your business now you've got these machines with this simplicity? It's made a huge difference. If I hadn't have moved on with these, um, these SMX, um, I wouldn't be sort of doing the work I'm doing now. Brilliant. Thank you very much for your time today, Pete. It's, it's been very, very interesting. OK, thank you. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.